the truth, I look better under you. I can't lose when I'm with you. How can I stop? Hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, today we are doing a V part sleep not bun. So, I know y'all have been asking for ponytail videos, so I'm gonna try to deliver. So, we're gonna get straight into it. I'm going to use my cheese serum. I have shampoo and condition and detangle my client at the shampoo bowl. She did sit under the dryer for 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure her scalp was dry. I blew her hair out with my yellow bird blow dryer. You can use a silver bird or baby list. I like to use a blow dryer that gets hot and I like to use a calm nozzle on the blow dryer because I want to make sure that the hair is elongated as much as possible. That way, I won't have to do too many passes with the silk press. Now, I did not do the silk press on camera. If y'all want to see me doing my silk press, please go watch my previous videos. I just really didn't want to give y'all repetitive content. In this video, I did go into depth on how I do my client's trim. And here I am starting her trim here. So this is after the silk press. And I recommend my clients always get a trim with their ponytails, especially if one is needed, because I want to take care of their hair under the style. So my client was in real, real bad need of getting a trim, and she was okay with me literally cutting everything off. So I decided instead of going from side to side, like a regular just dust off trim, she needed a real detailed trim so i went in my three sections like i normally do and i just parted out small subsections and cut it and then i also um trimmed her some layers in i wanted to show y'all the before and after because it really is a major difference so i will come back when i get ready to mow her hair just watch y'all and i'll be back Free 
Okay, y'all, so I did the right side off camera, but as you can see, all the dead ends are gone. Her hair has a better flow. She said her hair felt lighter, like all the dead weight was off her hair. If she wants to curl her hair, she's going to have some layers in it. So it is perfectly in good shape now. So I am using my even spray. Y'all know my good old faithful, and I am using a rat tail comb because I'm getting ready to part out her V part. Now, I am going to spray the end of the silver metal part because this is what I use to make sure that my V part is precise. Now, I am not going to speed up the V part parting. Um, I also did, I think, this style before on my channel. So, if y'all want to see me part the V part in another style, I can't remember if, I think my client got a Barbie ponytail, I believe. But um, my client got a low bun today so it wasn't like me yet so when i do the low styles i part my v part a little bit further back but you all are gonna see that so i just made sure i take my time with the v part and i was on live this day so i was looking at my phone camera but normally i look in the mirror and you want to part this v part out in the mirror and you want to stand in front of them you want to make sure you're really taking your time parting this out because once everything gets molded down, if it is off track and it's not parted correctly, you will see. So now that heavy part is parted out, I have started molding and all I do is spray my even spray at the roots. And then y'all know, I always tell y'all to let the product get a little tacky. I'm using my regular leopard brush. This is the medium size brush. You can get it on Amazon, I believe, but this brush is really hard to find y'all. I'm not going to lie, but they do have the smaller leopard brush it does the same i just feel like it takes a little bit longer to do the ponytail because the brush is smaller but i really take my time with molding it especially when my client's hair is really thick her hair was really thick and then she had just got her trim so you know we had some smaller pieces because she does have layers at the moment so I'm basically just letting the product get as tacky as possible. And I'm just brushing, 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 y'all. The more you brush, the smoother the hair. The more glass look that you are going to receive, y'all. So always keep brushing until you feel like it's smooth to your liking. And then you blow dry it on warm to hot heat. I never use cold because cold just, to, just doesn't lock the product into me you can use cold if you choose to but for me for a faster result i like to use warm to hot heat setting and then i just do the same steps over and over and over
look at him. Look at him, look at him, look at him. That ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with him. Catch me in the whip, ride with him. Hey, sipping something, bumping beer, hypnotized with him. Pray you get that job in town, bro. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby, come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, fuck your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock up. I got the weed and the crib and the liquor too. I fuck your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be on you, bring your easel and pencils too. Here you go, you tryna tease with them bitches. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said I'm tryna keep it tight for my nigga, girl. I like it last nigga. All I need is mental. You know I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Oh, it's just another interlude. Asking all the questions, girl. You know I don't do interviews. It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you. Oh, you working clothes, you in dental school. Wiping now you fucking clothes, cooking dinner too. Young killer, girl, I'm known as Pink Griffey too. It's only right that I swing by and hit it too. First base, second base, third base. I'm trying to get you in your birthday. Oh, I know these other niggas Thursday, but please never entertain them, cause that would hurt me. You feel me? Yeah. I know you feel me. Oh, I know you feel me. Let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it. We can give it all that we got.
ice, ride pipe like bike, like Yokohama. She heard the thing bend like banana, so she wanna give me the Arunana Oh, yeah. She say I'm a sweeter man, but she say that she don't need a man. I say, why don't we make an agreement then? We can just while we're being friends, girl. I know you wanna, you know I wanna. She gon' hit this high note She know she working with the nana She wanna give me the other nana oh, 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 yeah. She say I'm a sweeter man She say that she don't need a man What if we make an agreement that we can't just Why we're being friends, girl I know you want it. Cause I'm too good, drink too strong Yeah, I too changed, I'm too sprung Yeah I, I, I Too good, drink too strong Yeah, I too changed, I'm so gone I, I, I Girl, I know you wanna I know you wanna Girl, I know you wanna I know you want to, girl Girl, I know you wanna Give me look. Oh, she keep giving me look. Oh, she keep giving me look. I need you right here beside me. If you oblige me, I hang it up and I never come out of retirement. You should just sleep on it, you shouldn't doubt me. It would be different without me. What is it without me? Don't go do nothing without me. This is a blessing, a shot of a light. I swear my life stories better than stories they telling about me. They got it twisted. Ride the pipe like a bike, make sure you're going the distance. And if he wasn't with it, then why were you with him? Maybe you just had to realize that knowing the difference can make all the difference. Oh. Titles if I do they it'll be Michael Keeps your spicy tip and tiny Yellow bone chick look like hey Dami Freaking the sheep, bring on the keys Niggas been hooked since big old free I realized that I was a shit When R&B niggas wanna start rap beef These niggas ain't got no name on them Wish these hoes stop trying to put claim on them He come around me get game on them If he on gold then I already came on them These new hoes sound like my mixtape Bitches love saying my name like split bait I don't take shit if they come with the bitches I don't rock shit if they come in his name I'm not your baby yet, cause I don't sleep on me Look like a lick then I'm putting a pick on them I love these niggas is begging I'm saying cause my bitch is young dog now that everything is molded, I did mold the V part the same way I did the rest of her hair, y'all. It's no special technique, just the same molding method. I am doing her edges now. With this type of style, you have to inform your clients that they are going to have to have edges because once everything gets molded down, just pushing all the edges back just doesn't give the style what it's supposed to give. Like It just really doesn't. Now, sometimes I do use holding spray for my client's edges, but I feel like for a more polished look, I like to use wax, and I heat up my wax just a little bit. You can still get the same look with holding spray if you choose to use holding spray, but I just personally like to use beeswax. Also, I do cut just a little bit of my client's edges, and I do ask them. To me, it's not that deep. To some people it is, so that's why I say just ask your clients. Um, and then I just kind of map up my, out my edges, how I want them. I play around with the edges. Edges normally take me about 10 to 15 minutes because I really do take my time because 
even though the ponytail is molded to perfection, you still want to make sure the edges just pop and add that extra look to your client style. I never go over a 14 inch because it'll be a little too long and you still want it to give just that knot bun. Also, I don't do a braid as my foundation. Y'all see, I just wrap the wrap strip around it. When I do a bun, I want it to just be very easy for me to fold the bun up when I'm getting ready to twist it. I feel like with a braid, it just is harder for me to twist. So I add the even spray just to control the flyaways and then I add some oil sheen just to give it some shine so it isn't just hard. And then I start to twist and bend. So y'all can see that right here. I twist with my left hand and then I kind of like squeeze it together with my right hand just to still kind of fold it into the knot. So when you're doing the knot bun like this, you have to remember you can't wrap the hair around too much because you still want to have some hair at the top for your spikes so that's why i try to bend it up as much as possible because i really only on uh, i really only want to wrap the hair twice and then that's going to give me some hair left over for my spikes also when i do finish the bun i secure the bun with two medium sized rubber bands and i make sure that it is secure y'all so this secures the bun and it holds the hair that's going to be the spikes so it's all about the way you place things and you want to make sure your client's hair is secure now i do pull on those hairs that's straight at the moment i just pull on pull on pull on because your client is going to want to see the spikes from the back i do use my small 
Baby Lids Flat Iron. And I use this one because it doesn't get that hot, but it gets hot enough for this type of hair because this hair is a master mix. So you can put some holding spray on them and then just flip them backwards. And then I still like to pull and play with it just so it can be positioned correctly. Now you do want to do this in the mirror where you can see the back of your clients here. So you just kind of face them to the mirror and then just kind of pull it out so they can see their spikes from the side or they can tell you how high or how low they want you to have their spikes. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. It is so classy and sleek. I just cut the wrap strips off, y'all. My client loved her hair, y'all. Let me know in the comments what y'all think, and I will see y'all next time.